everyone, I'm Ashley Bullington and welcome in to the campfire. This week we are breaking down District 5-6A. It's a really good district with some top-notch teams. Let's see who a few of them are in our film session presented by Cricket Wireless. Allen made the biggest news this offseason by pulling Chad Morris back to Texas high school football from the college ranks. But unlike most years for the Eagles, they don't return a lot of skill position players. However, what they do return is an experienced and dominant offensive line. Jalen Jenkins also returns in the backfield, but Allen will be grooming a new quarterback for 2021. Front runner in this district may be the Geyer Wildcats, who are fresh off back-to-back -back long playoff runs. Like most teams in this district, Geyer will be starting a new quarterback. Unlike other teams, this quarterback actually has state title game experience as Jackson Arnold was thrust into the 2019 championship game due to injury. He'll have some talented receivers to throw to and Jace Wilson and Grayson O'Bara, plus BJ Phillips in the backfield. Prosper is also replacing a quarterback this year, but they return two-way player Tyler Bailey and running back Noah Billings. The Eagles defense is quite inexperienced though. McKinney Boyd has a defense that is loaded with experience. The Broncos could be the fourth place team out of this district. The Bengals of Braswell will be yet another team with a new quarterback as they graduated a lot of their offensive firepower so they could be rebuilding. McKinney and Little Elm are pretty young but there is no easy wins in this district. The film session is presented by Cricket Wireless. Smile, you're on Cricket. This is definitely one of the toughest districts in all of the Metroplex. If not, maybe the toughest, but we'll get to that more later in the season. Now it's time to introduce you to some of the players from District 5, 6A and our players on the rise. Possibly the best player in this district is on the offensive line, and Allen's Neto Umiazulu. He is six foot four and 290 pounds, but yet he is still swift on his feet. Neto has been on the Eagles line since his sophomore year as he opens mammoth holes for Allen's vaunted running game. He has offers from USC, Alabama, and Auburn, among others. Prosper's Tyler Bailey is a tremendous two-way player in the district. The Eagles have found many ways to get the ball in Bailey's hands because the senior simply makes plays. As a wide receiver, he caught 34 passes for 374 yards and two touchdowns. As a DB, Bailey made 24 tackles and intercepted two passes. Tyler was the offensive newcomer of the year as a sophomore and helped Prosper go four rounds deep last year. He has interests from Kansas, Illinois State, and Central Michigan, among others. Geyer's Jace Wilson will be a big time threat in the Wildcat passing game this year. He caught 53 passes for 604 yards and six scores last year, and will be a nice target for new quarterback Jackson Arnold this year. Wilson is a big receiver at six foot four, which makes lobs and fades easy for him to bring down the red zone. At McKinney Boyd, linebacker Ethan Waslowski is one of the best defensive players in the district. Check out these numbers. Ethan finished with 140 tackles to go along with four sacks, two picks, and 12 tackles for loss. It was more than enough to earn him District Defensive Player of the Year last year. Waslowski has a quick burst of speed that gets him through the line and the ball carrier's face in an instant. Look for another big year from this senior. Phenomenal players in District 5, 6A, and they are led by some really quality coaches. We bring in for our Media Day segment the Prosper head man, Brandon Schmidt. We're talking 5-6-A. We are joined by Prosper Head Coach Brandon Schmidt. Coach Schmidt, uh, let's just get right into it. I mean, this district is a bear. You know it's a bear when you probably saw it during realignment day. But you, you take a look at things, and, and you lost two games on the last play of the game. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, we're down at the last week of the season, and you got to win that game and make the playoffs. People may think, hey, this team is a 3-3 three and three team. It's a 500 team. But once you made the playoffs, 
you shot right through several teams and made it to the, to the third, fourth round where you lost to yeah. a district foe in three overtimes. Talk about how it was difficult to get through that district and, and, and get to where you went to. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a meat grinder. Uh, you know, from top to bottom, it's as competitive a district as there is in the state. Um, and uh, if you can find your way into the playoffs out of 5-6-A, you have a shot at winning some playoff games and making a deep run. Uh, the, the hardest part is getting into the playoffs. You got some new coaches coming in. Last year you brought in Rodney Webb in the district. This year it's Chad Morris. Talk about uh, is it going to be a difficult coaching against a guy that's got the college pedigree or is it it's all X's and O's type deal? Um, you know, I think at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's who has their kids better prepared, uh, you know, who's able to put together a scheme offensively and defensively to maybe, uh, you know, exploit something they see on the other side of the ball. Um, and, and really for our district, as competitive as it is, I think more than anything, it comes down to just uh, execution. Uh, are the kids going to execute on Friday night? Uh, every game is going to be close. Uh, it's who can eliminate mistakes, who can eliminate turnovers. Uh, who can stay healthy. Um, so, uh, yeah, we got some big name coaches in our district. Uh, we also have some big time football players in our district. Uh, and that's what makes it so fun and so competitive. Uh, as a coach, uh, you better bring your A game every Friday night because there's a coach on the other sideline uh, who's, who's really good at what he does. Good luck to you. And uh, looking forward to seeing these monster matchups week in and week out. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Coach Smith, thank you so much for your time. You can catch the entire interview on Thursday in our media day segment on all of our social media platforms. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Now we bring in the one, the only Professor Diggs for the District Breakdown. District Breakdown time. There's my man, Matt Diggs. He's back in Texas, so he's ready to talk Texas high school football. And we're talking 5-6-A. So you know what that means. That's Alan Geyer, that's Prosper. That is a powerhouse district. So let me know what you think about that. Really is a powerhouse district. But I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw McKinney Boyd in there if you're gonna talk about the big names. McKinney Boyd is a team I'm very excited about. I watched them a couple of times last year. They were very young. Uh, defensively, they were strong. Offensively, they had questions, and I think offensively, they still have those same questions. But defensively, this is a team that is stacked. Uh, Jimmy Fex, you know, I, I highlighted him on several games. Great player in, inside linebacker. Carter Whitefield is a beast. Will play both ways. Peyton Sean, a, a really good safety in the secondary. This is a team I believe is loaded to bear and ready to compete, at least with Prosper. But when you talk about this district war, you've got to talk about the big two, Allen and Ned Geyer. There are a lot of questions with Allen. I mean, Allen, when you really talk about the continuity over the last 20 years, it's kind of been the same way, run that the program has been run the same way, even though Westerberg left and uh, Gamble came in. But they're, they're cut out of the same cloth. Uh, they're, you know, he was an assistant for them, so they're very familiar. This is a completely – they're just blowing it up now. And, I mean, all new coaches. You're seeing coaches coming from San Antonio, all over the state. Uh, Morris, uh, to his credit, is hiring the best. He put the web out there, and we'll talk about web in a second. But he put the web out there and said, come. And, you know, if you're a good coach, you're a young coach, you're energetic, come to Allen. And he's really attracted a lot of assistant coaches that you may not have heard of uh, from outside the area. So I'm very excited to see how that gels. This is going to be a heck of a district. I can't wait to see what happens. Uh we will talk about 6-6-A next week, and that's who 5-6-A will be playing in the first round of playoffs. So it, it'll be some interesting stuff. Absolutely. But just to kind of recap, Tier 1, Allen Dettengeier, Tier 2, McKinney Boyd and Prosper, and Tier 3, McKinney Little Elm and Dick Braswell. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks, Digsy, and we will talk later. Talk to you next week. Digsy was great insight as always. Thank you so much for your time and joining us here on the campfire. That's all we have for this week's episode. Come back every Monday as we deep dive into new districts throughout the summer. And that's all we have for this week. I'm Ashley Bullington and thank you for watching the campfire.